this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for Gemini. This is for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the next seven days, okay? I don't know what is going on with you, but I've had multiple nuances trying to get this started. I've had to restart several times for s silly little things, so I'm not sure what is going on. Um, it's, it's like it's a nuisance. It's something is going on, something is off, something is definitely, definitely, definitely off. Um, a couple cards just fell out, so we're going to go over that. Now, this is for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, next seven days. You could say the 18th through the 25th, or seven days from the date that you watch it. Uh, the first card out is Egg. Success assured with good plans and hard work. So there will be success with good plans and hard work. Teardrops, great personal sorrow. So I'm not sure if you're going through some great personal sorrow. If you are, you are going to be able to overcome it. Let's get one of these or two. Let's get one or two. What do we have for Gemini? What do we have for Gemini? Messenger, you know, I feel like you may receive a message. Probably it's via messenger, one of the messengers, or a messenger is going to be delivering you a message. Put it that way. A messenger is going to be delivering you a message, okay? It's going to be very prominent this week. It's going to shape something for you. Let's get one of these. What do we have for Gemini? You may also see a message on Messenger, even if it's not yours, that causes you some great personal sorrow. Fifth chakra, Archangel Gabriel. Now that is the throat chakra. So there is probably definitely going to be some communication, open lines of communication. Um, there's going to be some communication this week. I think it's it's something, if there's been something that hasn't been said, it may definitely be said this week. There we go. To be fair. To be fair. So, to be fair. Something about fairness. Doing it in all fairness. I'm going to go ahead and read that card. See what they got to say. To be fair, balance, justice, a need to consider options, mutual benefit, the law of cause and effect. Life offers experiences that are challenging and experiences that are nourishing. Yet over time, they, they strike a balance. You move from being from stasis to doing, from discovering, I don't know why they can't keep it on one page, to discovering to loving, to letting go, to being again. Life is a pendulum swinging between all of those states. You will always as osculate back and forth between doing and being. If you are not content with where you are at this moment, remember that all experiences have their place. Accept them without judgment and you will see how the universe adjusts in perfect balance. You reap what you sow. For every cause, there is an effect. Wondrous things will be revealed now. Can you find a way to achieve fairness right now? This is a time for listening as well as speaking. That would be your throat chakra. For understanding as well as asking to be understood. There is much to be learned and you will learn if you remain open and objective, weighing options and considering all sides. Your heart wants to connect to others, so allow for a balanced exchange of ideas and actions. The best kinds of relationship is one in which there is mutual benefit, and each party feels heard, valued, and respected. Be fair to all. Now is a time for even exchanges. Justice will prevail, and you will be treated accordingly. In all your affairs, you will be able to negotiate fair, fair settlements. 
Mutual gain is the gift to you and your partners and colleagues. This is also a good time to square your finances and take stock in how you're compensated for your work. This card signifies balance, justice, and negotiations. So remember that all things must be fairly recompensed. Keep this as your truth, and so it will be. So it's, it's about listening and compromising and uh, being fair with somebody else that you are going to be working with this week. Give them a chance. Listen. Be open to their perspective. Be open to compromise um, to win. Okay, to to have a successful outcome, you you may need to communicate for one openly, and listen at the same time. Don't just listen to respond. Listen to what they're saying and take it in, and maybe even take a few minutes before you respond. Let them know that you're listening. Don't interrupt. Let let them speak. Okay, so I don't know where that came from, but I feel like it's, it's, it, this is about a balancing. It's about a balancing. It's about fairness. And there could be somebody that's going to be communicating with you that is, uh, wanting to be heard. Maybe they, maybe they want to bring justice to a situation. Maybe this is an opportunity to, uh, compromise. Okay. Um, so let's just see what else we have. What else do we have for Gemini? Let me just, there we go. We got the Ace of Swords on the bottom and the Hangman Reversed. So the Ace of Swords is the truth, it's taking a new approach, it's the raw truth, it's taking the power, it's an awakening, it is communication. So, and the Hangman Reversed may be somebody that's letting go. They're, maybe they've been sacrificing themselves needlessly, trying to prove a point. Is it really worth proving a point at this point? And this is a point, okay? The Ace of Swords is definitely a point, okay? It's sharp, okay? It's a sharp point. So I feel like we have somebody here, and maybe it's you. Maybe it's you and another person. Maybe you're both struggling to let go of your belief, hanging on to a belief when there's a need for compromise. It's, hey, man, it's about a new perspective is needed. I feel, And this is a new perspective. So this week is about gaining a new perspective. It's about being open-minded, as I can clearly see. This is clarity. So I think that you will probably be in a position where you may have to let something go. Maybe you've been holding a grudge or you've been holding on to a belief that maybe it no longer serves you anymore. Um, I feel like uh, there could also be somebody that is very egotistical that has been wanting to prove a point to themselves or to the outside world or to somebody in their family and you know, they've missed an opportunity. This is a missed opportunity right here, the hangman. It is. And in reverse, maybe this person realizes this is a realization. Maybe it's an awakening. You could, And this is an awakening of some sort. So maybe somebody's gotten some sort of epiphany. Okay. Maybe they've gotten some sort of epiphany. They've sacrificed themselves long enough. Could be you or the person that you're dealing with. This is a wake-up call. It's seeing the truth. It's gaining a new perspective. So I feel like it's either you are gaining a new, and maybe you both are. I feel like we have a new perspective here. Um, somebody, probably you and somebody else, has been thinking a lot about everything that has happened. And maybe a, quite a bit of a time has passed. You may be having a conversation with somebody where, you know, you have to be open-minded this week. Maybe you're dealing with somebody that was hanging on to something for some sort of cause and they've just let go and they want you to trust them. They want you to believe them. You know, I don't know if that's the case, but it just came to my mind. I do think you're going to have a conversation with somebody that, you know, you may have a hard time listening. That's why that card, give them a chance. Listen to what they have to say. Don't judge it before the words are even out of their mouth is what I'm trying to say. Queen of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles could be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Um, very stable, solid, secure, hardworking. Um, very independent. Uh, very uh, set. I feel like you're very set. You're very comfortable with who you are. You have. A, you know your value. I think that you're. You know your value. 
I think that you're in a place of value at this point. You know your value. I think that you're a hard worker. You've uh, you've worked really, really hard to uh, gain stability in your life. I feel like you're very stable. You're very solid. You're very comfortable with where you are. Some of you may also have somebody around you that is very stable, solid, and secure that can help you. I mean, this person is very generous, the Queen of Pentacles in the upright, very generous, very motherly. This is a mother um, devoted, devoted to her children, devoted to her home, devoted to her job. This is somebody that does it all. Ooh, now we get the Queen of Swords. Woo, so that would be you. Okay, maybe you're taking on both energies. Or you have somebody around you, you know, that is an earth sign. We have air, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, and Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. I feel like you, that sword is on the ground. There's some sort of communication. There's a miscommunication. There's a lack of communication. You need to communicate. Your sword is on, it should be, you know, it's like I'm not communicating. Maybe this is stubbornness. I don't, I'm not sure. You see, you, just, you notice the sword is on the ground. You need to pick it up, okay? You need to pick it up and you need to communicate. Communication is big this week, okay? You need to communicate. Stop, and you know, like if you put these two energies together, the queen of pentacles is stubborn, okay? She is, she's stubborn, okay? So I feel like you may be in some stubborn mindset where, I don't know if you're trying to prove a point, you're trying to prove a point to somebody by not communicating. Um, <clears throat> maybe you know your value and you're like, you know what? I'm not going to communicate with you. I'm not going to communicate. We have the emperor in reverse on the bottom. So you could be dealing with an Aries or a masculine energy that has deserted you in the time of need that has made you feel like, <clears throat> excuse me, cold. Maybe you feel cold. Maybe you just want to be independent. Maybe you just want to be left alone. It feels like it be, because these are both very independent energies right here. They are. can take care of myself. I don't need anybody. <coughs> Excuse me. There's some sort of manipulation here. I think you're dealing with somebody that may be in a position of authority that has abused their power. Um, this is a masculine that is very entitled, very cocky. Um may do things for their own good, only looking out for themselves. You're dealing with somebody that uh, <coughs> maybe even acting cowardly. This person um, egotistical. You're dealing with somebody that is extremely egotistical. This is like above the law. This person is above the law. They may even uh, abuse you in some way you know they don't they don't see your value they 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 love attention they aren't very caring this person isn't doesn't really care they don't care about your feelings i feel i feel like you're very independent you're very capable of taking care of yourself this person may have turned on you and maybe they well, let's get some more cards very controlling you're dealing with somebody that is very very controlling I don't know if it's a father or it's a husband. It's a masculine. It is definitely a masculine energy that is above the law. And it could be a female that is in masculine energy. This is somebody that is, is above the law, you know. They're not really a very experienced. They may think that they're experienced, but they're not. Tower. Tower reversed. So unavoidable change. Massive disruption. Upheaval, chaos, unavoidable change. This is unavoidable. There's unavoidable change that is coming. I put it right next to you, Queen of Swords. You are experienced. You're going to, this is a shock. It's, it's very shocked. You're going to be shocked. Devil on the freaking bottom. Devil in reverse. This is a disaster. You get the tower reversed and the devil reversed. That's a dis disaster. So I'm wondering what is happening. This is a disaster, shock, a complete surprise. Something is going to happen. It's going to be a complete surprise. Um, breaking free. Breaking free. The devil is breaking free or th things getting worse. Sudden change. Extremely sudden change with the, with the, with the tower reversed. I feel like you're going to be shocked. You're going to be surprised. Somebody is severing ties. They're severing ties with something that is very toxic. It is a toxic behavior or it's a toxic person. Um, maybe you have not been communicating with this person. 
Uh, this person may have been through some major upheaval in their life. They Maybe they were going through some sort of... Uh, or maybe they had some sort of addictions or something like that. There's there's going to be some sort of upheaval. There is. There's going to be a major dismantling of a false sense of security. You're going to be right in the middle of it. We have uh, Aries Leo. We don't have Aries Leo Sagittarius. That's what came out of my mouth, though. But we have uh, Capricorn. We have Capricorn. We have Aries. <laughs> Where the fuck is Aries? in that tower card because it's ruled by Mars. Okay, all right, I'm like, what? See, sometimes I can't even control what comes out of my mouth. I can't. Interesting. But the tower is ruled by Mars and that's why I said that. And Mars is, is war, okay? And it's, up, it's extreme. It's extreme. Something extreme is going to happen. You're going to be shocked. You may even be speechless. Maybe that's why the sword is on the ground. Because you just, you, you can't even speak. You can't even speak. Something is, is going to really surprise you. It, it is. It is. It has to do with an earth sign. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Or a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Or an Aries. An Aries. Could also be dealing with a Leo or a Sagittarius. Because that came out of my mouth. Um, the fifth chakra is ruled by Taurus, so you could, it could be dealing with a Libra as well with that to be to be fair card. Justice is going to be served. There's going to be there's going to be a need to listen. Okay, things are um, there's going to be something that is sad with great personal sorrow. You're going to be successful because you're so capable of success. You're so strong. You're so independent. You're so intelligent. I feel like you're very solid. You're very stable. I think that you're in a very, I think that something is happening that is going to shake you up. This is going to be a major shakeup. It may have something to do with addictions, okay, or an explosion of some sort. Somebody could explode and you're absolutely speechless. Or somebody contacts you that deserted you in your time of need. This may have, or there's something to do with a father figure or a masculine. This person could be a fall from power, okay? There could be a fall from power because of the uh, emperor reverse in the tower, the tower reverse. There could be a fall from power here. We may have somebody here that is losing, they're losing their power, they're losing their control, they're losing their stamina, you know, they're falling. This could be a fall. This could be a fall or something like that. Um, Maybe you had a fallout with somebody, something crashed and, and, and now they want to talk to you about it. Some people, somebody may want to talk to you. They're, they're, you definitely, there's definitely some communication coming your way. Somebody sees your stability. They see your ability to take care of business. They do. They do. They see, they see your value. Somebody sees your value. They see your um, devotedness, you're, whatever it is that you're doing, you're doing it right. Okay, you're, both of these queens are upright. I think you're taking on both of these energies. And it's interesting because this is a this is with the tower with being reversed. It's extreme. This is an extreme upheaval. It's an extreme shock. You may even be dealing with somebody that has some health problems. You know, this could be some sort of major disruption. Somebody could also be getting thrown out and they need your help. Somebody could be coming towards you. It comes out of nowhere. You know, it could be a change in your living situation um, this week. Um, whatever it is, it's massive. It's a painful change. Somebody could be moving. Um, the world card reversed. Oh my God, there could be no closure, lack of closure, uh, unfinished business, in unfinished business from the past. There's some unfinished business here. There is unfinished business from the past is coming back around to be dealt with. It's interesting because somebody, I think that Taurus had this as well. Um, that's lack of closure. Shocked, completely, completely, completely shocked. Queen of Cups reversed on the bottom. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. You also have Scorpio here as well. So you have everybody. I think I've named them all now. This is emotional. It's heartbreaking. It's disappointing. 
I do think there is going to be some great personal sorrow. You may even be experiencing a loss because of that tower card. That could be a painful loss where you're absolutely shocked. There's somebody could be leaving without saying goodbye, and I'm sorry to say that. I am. I really, really am. But that, that, that world card reverse could be a lack of closure. It, it, it could. Um, major disruption of a foundation that you may have thought was stable. There is heart there is heartbreak here with the Queen of Cups reversed. It is. That's that's tears. And we got great personal sorrow. We got the teardrops there. So you may be really in your emotions. You need to ground yourself because the Queen of Pentacles is if you were to look at the Queen of Cups reversed next to the Queen of Pentacles, that's about grounding. It's about grounding. You're probably gonna need to ground yourself, master your emotions. Maybe you need to listen and not speak. Just just listen. Just listen. Somebody is going to be talking to you and or saying something to you and you just need to listen because a sword is on the ground. Maybe you don't speak, but the fifth chakra, chakra is about speaking, it is about communication. I think you're going to be in shock. You may be forced. You, the tower is forced. Maybe you've been trying not to speak to somebody, you know, you've been holding a grudge or you've been really stubborn. You've been focusing on yourself. You've been focusing on your self-value and your self-worth, you know, and you're really stable where you're at, whatever. You're not talking to this person, whatever, and you're, you're forced to because a tower is forced, you know. Maybe they, you know, they contact you and they message you and you're just, I don't know. Um, there's been some, there's unfinished business here with the world card reverse, just so you know. This cycle ain't over yet. This is unfinished business. It is. Um, never saw it coming. You never, ever saw it coming, whatever this is. Woo! Ace of Cups reversed. That is tears. That is sadness. That's emotional shutdown. Uh, a loss. A loss of emotional content. I think we have somebody here that has been in a false sense of security. Uh, they've been blocking their emotions. They've been uh, hiding their feelings. Whatever. You may be shocked. I think that you're gonna, you are going to be shocked by something that is about to happen. Tears for sure. So I'm not sure what this is, but you notice in this card, you see it's like, it is definitely tears. I do see tears here. There's tears. Um, I just shuffled, didn't I? I'm pretty sure I did. Queen of Cups in reverse on the bottom again. I think I shuffled. I would have to go back and look. I can't remember. But that is extremely emotional. It is. And there's extremes with the tower reverse. That's an extreme. This is deep sadness. You could be dealing with a water sign that is using, emo using emotional blackmail or using their emotions to manipulate in some way. You are definitely going to be shocked by something. Nine of Pentacles, upright. I know that you are very comfortable with who you are. You're stable, you're solid, you're secure, you're determined, you're successful, okay? I feel like you're at a point where you're just enjoying your life, you're good on your own, and then all of a sudden, because the tower is all of a sudden, <laughs> something changes, something changes. You're doing quite well on your own. Six of Pentacles. So somebody's gonna be giving you something. This is, and what goes around comes around, okay? What goes around comes around. Something is definitely coming back around. Somebody is going to be giving you something. Okay? And this is about fairness. Okay? So you are going to have to be fair. May have something to do with children. I don't know if it has to do with children. Children coming back. Or something from the past that, you know, ended unfairly is coming back around in your favor. That's what I think this is. That is what this is. I think that you are sitting pretty. I think that you're in a very good position. I think that you have proven your stability. You have proven your value. You are of value. You are going to be absolutely shocked by an event, okay, or a message from somebody that there, you were lacking closure with. Somebody, something is happening. 
Something is happening. It's massive, whatever it is. Could be, could be, could have something to do with a mother. I don't know if it's a mother that isn't, that didn't take care of her children. Good luck.